All right, good afternoon, or is it evening? Welcome to Mamu Jarvis, and this is a, not a midnight sun project, but um, I've had a very busy schedule lately, so I just thought it wise to do a little work, and then perhaps you'll be seeing this video uploaded uh, sometime later tonight. Today we'll be looking at circle geometry in a matter of tangent and alternate segment. It's close to the midnight sun project where I just solve YEG related questions and see how you get to survive them. Um, I have a question before here. It's actually from YEG 2003 OBG and um, I think I just have one question there, question 42. Question number 42 and it says in the diagram I'm going to draw, draw shortly, P arrow is a tangent at T to the circle center O. Find the value of X. So I'm going to draw that on the board now. And we're going to see which relevant theorem will help us realize this objective. Alright, a quick reminder here that you must have a little idea of Circle theorem to be able to handle this uh, problem. Right, so this one we're going to have uh, something of this nature. And uh, don't worry, I will be doing, I'll be doing comprehensive videos on step by step breakdown of this matter. But for now, I'm more interested in just solving the problems. Alright, so this will be O, uh, this will be T, this will be R, this will be P. Uh, this part are given to us, so I told that P arrow is a tangent at T to the center of the circle, and I'm told that this part is uh, 2x minus 43 degrees. I'm told that this part is x. I'm told that this part is y, and I'm told that this part is y plus 17. Alright, maybe I should separate this part of the board quickly. Okay, so what's our objective? Our objective is to look for x. Now, this, uh, when I handle circle geometry, I look at circle geometry from two perspectives. There is a perspective that talks about arc, chords, and cyclic quadrilaterals. I'll come again. Arc, chords and cyclic quadrilaterals. That forms my part one of um, what you may call circle theory or circle geometry. There is a part two I call mm -hmm. there is a part two I call um, tangent and alternate segments. Um, so how do you identify part two in a problem? Look out for the tangent. Anytime you see this tangent line to a circle, we call this a tangent to the circle. You know that it's part two ideas that will work here. And, and more often than not, when this is given to you, it means that you'll be using more of your tangents and your alternate segments. The concept of alternate segments is likely to the concept of what we may call um, corresponding angles. So, how does that work in practice? Looking at the diagram, so I'll say using notation as a diagram. We would have a setting where 2x minus 43 is equal to y. By concept of alternate segment, this angle here will be equal to this angle here. We said that the angles must look as though they are corresponding. So look at this and look at this. The angles must look as though they are what? Corresponding. Now, this angle here will be equal to this angle here. So I'm going to have that y. So, so, so I'm going to have that in y plus 17 will be equal to x. So very quickly, I'll try to pick them one after the other and make them to standard uh, simultaneous equations. You discover that if you've studied your simultaneous equations very well, 
you study the semitonic equations very well, you will understand that our objective, first of all, is to keep the unknowns on the left hand side and keep the known on the right hand side. Alright, so I'm looking for x. I'm looking for what? x. Uh, because I am vast in this thing, I will simply say that y is equal to what? x minus 17. That's from this. I'm going to obtain this. y is equal to this and y is equal to this. So I can now say that what? 2x minus 43 is equal to what? x minus 17. Watch what I've done. I have this. Because the question wants me to look for x, so I shouldn't waste my time and spend an OBJ exam to look for what? Y. So this will be 2x minus x, a king cross to become a slave, equal to negative 17 plus what? 43. When I do this, I'm going to have x equal to what? 43 minus 17. 43 minus 17 will give me 26 if I've done my math right and as such. The angle I'm looking for is simply what? 26 degrees. So that's how that is solved. Concept of corresponding angles. This angle will correspond to this. This angle will correspond to this. So when it comes to alternate segments, you need to look out for the, the knowledge of a false corresponding angles. And I think with that, we're through with this problem. Okay, so we're done with question. 42 of that year, and here we move to another year. This is a pre recording, so um, it will be well stage managed um, as it were. So let's go to the next question. Um, question this is a why? It's a theory question. Why? 2016, and uh, this is for uh, theory. Question number. This should be question number three A. Uh, so this is three A, and the diagram. It says in the diagram. So let's draw the diagram, and then we'll try to do our interpretation to it. So this is the diagram I'm giving. Um, there's the tangent. Uh, let's have it a little closer. There's the tangent. That occurs at R, at M, at Q. I have a line coming like this. I have another coming like this. I have another coming like this. I have another, so more like a cyclic quad and a triangle. Okay, so I think the last one will come in like this. And I'm going to have here to be S, I'm going to have here to be T, I'm going to have here to be U, and I'm going to have here to be uh, V. So this angle here, I'm told this was 46, 46 degrees, and um, this angle will be what? 28, and then this angle is called X. Alright, so. Before I read the question, I, I always advise students to take note of this. What type of circle geometry are we dealing with? Anytime you see this, you know you are dealing with circle theorem that has to do with what? Tangents and what? Alternate segments. So that will be tangents and what? Alternate segments. So once I have established that and I'm setting up that, the next thing I want to do is to go ahead to do what? To solve it. Alright, so the question says in the diagram, Angle ROTS, ROTS is 28 degrees. Angle VROM, VROM is 46 degrees. MQ is a tangent to the circle. VROSTU at the point R. Find angle VUS, angle V. US. It's what I'm looking for. Now, how do I go about solving this uh, question? How do I go about solving this um, question? 
So, we will try to see what we can do to solve this question. Now, because I have a pre-knowledge of what to do, I will call this part Y. I need to get this part. But by constant alternate and alternate segment, I'll be able to get what? This part. Now, uh, okay, 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 okay. When I solve this question, I left out something very important. I was supposed to have told you alternate segments. Sorry about that. Uh, alt segments. It's always very important we state the reason for whatever we are doing. So, alternate segment becomes the reason for that. Sorry about that. Now, this will be why. Um, what else do I need? Uh, what else do I need? I can get this. Um, okay, let's start. I believe in starting with, as you saw, you may, you may discover what, uh, what else you might need to work with. All right, so we'll start by saying that using notations as a diagram. Notation as a diagram, y will be equal to 28 degrees. This y will be equal to what? 28 degrees. What's the reason for that? Alternate segments. You say that it always seems to carry that touch of corresponding angle uh, relationship. Is that okay? To carry the touch of what? And rather, again, we say that this is equal to this. I will say that too. There, alternate words, segments. So with that set to, I would have gotten this angle. So I can call the whole of this angle A. I can call the whole of this angle now A. That's beautiful about using notation as a diagram. I can be increasing my notations and nothing will be happening. All right, so with that said, I can say that 46 plus A plus Y will be equal to 180 degrees. This is a straight line, so that will be what? Angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line will take care of that understanding. So from there, I know why to be 28, so that will be 46 plus 8 plus 28 will give me 180 degrees. So when I add this to A plus, uh, now she give me 74, if I'm right, will give me 180 degrees. So A will now give me 180 minus 74, and that will give me 106. Trusting that my arithmetic is not faulty. So having gotten that, if you look at the, there is a relationship between X and A, if we know that this figure here is what is cyclic one. So at this point in time, we will be referring to knowledge from our first idea. First aspect of circle geometry that has to do with arc, chord, cyclic chord, and also the matter of what? Perhaps same segment and angle at the center equal to angle um, at the circumference. Two times the angle at the, or the angle at the center is equal to two times the angle at the circumference. So, we, what do we do at this point? It will mean that um, A plus A plus X will be equal to 180 degrees. What's the reason for that? Uh, of angles of cyclic quad. Some books will just simply say cyclic quad and it's understood. So it means that from here X, 106 plus X will be equal to 180 degrees and X will be equal to 106 uh, 180, sorry about that, minus 106, and that will be 74 degrees. So the act, that answer, that one will be what? 74 um, degrees. So 74 degrees will be the answer to that question. But remember, you are not told to find, okay, in this case, you are told X. So X is equal to angle V US, and that is what? 74 degrees. So that solves that question under the matter of 
trying to handle tangents and other segments. But you'd have observed that even in handling that, we have delved into what? Opposite angles of what? But do into the aspect of what? Arc, chords, and what? Cyclic what? Quadrilaterals. Alright? Okay, so let's take another question. Let's take another question. Um, being question 46 from November Waek 2004. November Waek 2004. So, um, Waek. November, I'm going to specify that it's November 2004, and that will be question number 46. Right, so question number 46, what is it like? It says in the diagram, PQ is a tangent to the circle at T. Um, so let's draw the diagram. So when I read the question, you have a clear picture of what the question is expecting you to do. So that's more like a visual representation of the question. And I told that this is parallel to this. So S R is parallel to P Q with the tangent at T. Uh, this is the whole of this angle here is 52 degrees. It said in the diagram, PQ is a tangent to the circle at T. QR is parallel to PQ. And angle ROTQ is what? 52 degrees. We are told to find angle STR. STR. That is the angle we are told to find. So I'll call this angle A. I'll call this angle B. I'll call this angle C. And I'll call this angle D. Alright. So with this lettering in place, with this lettering in place, I can now solve the question. Okay. Now, from our knowledge of correspond, from our knowledge of alternate segments, uh, we can say that um, angle, or let's say D, is equal to 52 degrees. And the reason is what? Alternate segments. See where that comes to play? Now, because I am told that this line is parallel to this, I will draw from my formal geometry, from my formal geometry, and that will mean that what? C is also equal to 52 degrees. C will be equal to 52 degrees. And the reason for that is that there are alternate angles, alternate angles, S R R to P uh, Q. So I know this angle, I know this angle, so I can get A. So A plus D plus C will be equal to 180 degrees. Formal geometry idea will help you again, that is uh, angle sum of triangle. So if that is in place, I can say that 52, uh, or rather A plus 52 plus 52 will be equal to 180 degrees. So A plus 104 will be equal to 180 degrees. And A will be equal to 180 minus 104. Okay, we'll start from the break. We just discovered there was a break in transmission here. Uh, we'll start from here. A plus 104 equal to 180. A will be equal to the basic arithmetic operation here will help. A equal to 180 minus 104. And your final answer becomes what? A equal to 76. Remember that you were not told to look for A, you were told to look for what? Angle STR, which you had called A. And I saw that clear that answer 76 degrees. Okay, so we'll still continue with our experience by trying to look at another EA question paper. This time around is a theory question paper that says YEC um, 2015 um, theory. Uh, question number uh, that should be 3B. Um, let me just 
say here that uh, you find it difficult understanding the concepts, uh, don't be, don't panic because the objective of this class is to solve problems. We will be doing other videos that will help you, that will take you through the concepts step by step. Alright, so let's see how this plays out. Uh, I'll try to draw this diagram as my practice. Um, and then um, I have uh, something like this. Oh, it's not essentially that concept. So, okay, I, I, would, uh, I would leave that. Let me leave that because uh, it's not essentially that concept. So, um, let me leave that out. Okay, so we'll go to the next question. Sorry for the mix-up uh, earlier. Um, this one is taken from November uh, 1998 WAEC, and it's actually an OBJ question, uh, question 20. And as a practice, I will try to draw the diagram, and it's a tangent. Uh, from the center, uh, this is P, Q, and R. Or right, this is P, Q, T. Uh, this angle here is 74 degrees. Oh, sorry about that, that should be something like this. Um, then I have this. Okay. Now, in the diagram, PQT is a straight line that touches the circle QRS. Now, at Q, O is the center, O is the center of the circle, and angle OQOR. QOR is what 74. Find arrow QT. Arrow QT. And this is what you want you to find. So I'll call this angle A and I'll call this angle what? B. Remember that to use alternate segment concepts, you must have a triangle relating a tangent. A triangle in a circle relating a tangent. So if you have gotten that, um, from the first aspect of circle geometry, we have a theorem that says that uh, 2 of B will be equal to 74. That is the angle at the center is equal to 2 times the angle at what? The circumference. Second will mean circumference. So from here, B will be equal to 37 degrees. That's by dividing both sides by 2. Now, once we've gotten this, this A can now be related to B. You know, we said that the relationship is more or less like a corresponding angle relationship. So from here, we can say that what? A is equal to B. What's the reason for that? Alternate um, segments. Alternate segments. Right? So with that set root, we know that A will be equal to what? 37 degrees. And that clears that problem as it ought to be. So pick another one. Okay, so we go to the next question and uh, this one is question 43 of um, what year was that? It was a NECO exam, so that would be NECO 2021 and that was OBJ exam and uh, it's um, this OBJ and then um, it's uh, Question number 43, and I'm going to try to draw the diagram. Let me draw my circle first. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so this is M, where it touches M, and this is O. Right, and this is like this. This is like this. And this is like this. So that will be, uh, this angle is 52 degrees. This point is P. This is um, Q. We want to write this one very well. This is M. And uh, this is 45 degrees. And uh, then in the diagram below, 
N and O is a tangent to the circle N and O to this circle. Now we're told to calculate P and O. P and O. Are we saying that? P and O. So we're told to find all of this angle. So to find all of that angle, we need to find this angle first. So we're going to call this X. We need to get that angle first. Now, remember we, we said something about uh, alternate angle relationship. This angle will be related with what? Sorry, corresponding angle relationship will be related with what? This angle. It's a false corresponding angle relationship. False corresponding angle relationship. So if that is understood, we can say that x is equal to 52 degrees. And what's the reason for that? Alternate segment. Alternate segment becomes the reason for that theorem to be true. If we can settle that, it will mean that ourselves through the solution process again. Uh, we start at x equal to 52 degrees, and the reason is alternate segments. x alternating with this. We said the concept of corresponding angles like um, relationship. All right. Now the next thing we want to consider now is um, to say that 45 plus x equal to angle P and O. This angle plus this angle will give us this field. And if you do your maths right, and P and O will be equal to um, 97 degrees. Okay, so we'll take on our next question. This one is actually why uh, it's uh, 2019 uh, November. It's more of a GC kind of arrangement and it's OBG. Uh, we're told to solve question. Uh, let's look at question. 38 and 39. I'll try to draw the diagram as usual. Um, it's more like this. And then we have tangents. Okay, let's try to make that tangent so it doesn't go too far. Uh, let's take from points where the tangent don't go too far. Alright, so this is what we're going to have. And then I'm told that this point is S, this angle is 70 degrees. I'm told that uh, from this point to the center, this is R, this is O, and to another point here. In geometry, anytime you see O, it usually denotes the center. And then we have something like this here um, two chords, uh, and this will be N. This is M, and uh, we are told this is Q, and this is um, P. Uh, this is testing what is called external tangents to a point. External tangents to a point. By that same token, this will be 90 degrees radius, relating radius to tangent, radius to tangent. So this will also be 90 degrees. So our real responsibility will be to try to get this angle here and to get N. So we're going to look for N and N. So let's read the question. It says in the diagram, PS and ROS are tangents to the circle with center O. Uh, PS, ROS, these are tangents meeting at an external point O. Okay. Angle P, S arrow is 970 degrees, and um, angle P, O arrow, P, O arrow is N, and P, Q R, P, Q R is what? N. So what are we going to do? We will, we will try to apply our knowledge of, now, remember, we said that, if you watch this figure, by the theorem we're going to be using very soon, uh, you discover that if this is equal to this, we have something that looks like a kite being formed. So we can apply symmetry here. Because by the rule, it will mean that this one must be equal to this one by the concept of symmetry. Alright, so if we agree with that, 
it will bisect this angle such that this angle becomes 35 and this angle becomes 35. So, by way of, I'll say using notation as a graph, we're using notations as in diagram. Um, look at this. Let me call here small letter A, small letter B. A is equal to B and is equal to 90 degrees. And it is radius perpendicular to tangent. So this radius is perpendicular to this tangent. And this radius particular to this tangent. So, or maybe we should even bring them. A is equal to 90 degrees, and B is equal to 90 degrees. So let's split them so that some of us don't get confused. This radius is particular to this tangent. This radius is particular to this um, tangent. So, with that sorted, we can consider. Uh, okay, what does that thing to uh, angle ROSO is equal to angle uh, PSO? The reason is symmetry. Symmetry becomes a reason for that relationship to occur. By symmetry, this angle must be equal to this angle. And so, um, so and that will be equal to what? 35 degrees. So, both angles are equal to 35 degrees. So, uh, consider triangle um, ORS. Let's consider angle, triangle ORS. Let's look for this angle here. Let me call this angle X. So X plus A, uh, X plus A plus 35 will be equal to 180 degrees. And what's the reason for that? Angle sum. Of triangle. So if that is in order, we can say that A is equal to 90. We establish that so X plus 90 plus uh, 35 will be equal to 180 degrees. Meaning that X plus 125 will be equal to 180 degrees. And X will be equal to 180 minus 125, which will give us uh, 55 degrees. Right? So we've got X. So let's try to, uh, in that same token, I'm going to call here Y. So let's clean off and use the other side of the board. So in continuation, we can say that X is equal to Y. The reason will be what? Symmetry. Because every time you see two tangents to an external point with perpendicular to their radius, the shape being form is called a kite. So remember that. The shape being form will be a kite. Okay, so by the concept of symmetry, x will be equal to y. So if x is equal to y, it means that y must be equal to 55 degrees. So x plus y is equal to m. We already know that x plus y will be equal to the whole of m. So from there, m will be equal to 55 plus 55. And that will be 110 degrees. So, what would n be equal to? There is a rule that says that 2 times n will be equal to n. 2 times n will be equal to n. And what is that rule? The angle at center equal to 2 times angle at what? Circumference. So, if that is understood, it means 2n will be equal to. Um, 110 and n will be equal to 55 degrees. How did I get that? Divide both by 2 and you obtain that answer. So n will equal to 55 degrees. And we are through with that uh, question. Alright, so let's take um, our final two questions for the day. Um, this one comes from Waik 2014. Waik 2014 and it's an OBJ one. We have a diagram that looks more like this. All 
right? This is what? 86 degrees. This is R. So he said in the diagram, O is the center, and PR is the, is the tangent to the circle at Q. And angle SOQ is 86 degrees. Calculate the value of SQR. 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 So what will that value be? Hmm. Wow. You have to be very careful here. Although this is tangent, but I'm even trying to, to check if I have if I've not made a mistake. But be that it may, if you're able to spot that in the course of your solutions, it means you have learned something. Now be careful here. This are the center. So look at this carefully. This is what it is simply means. This will be equal to this O R O S will be equal to o, o Q. And the reason that is what? Radar. So if that is, is in order, we can say this is what? A. And I can call here what? B. So using notations as in diagram, A will be equal to B. A will be equal to B. What's that? Base angles of what? I saw triangle. And uh, if we agree with this narrative, I can go on to say that 86 plus A plus B will be equal to 180 degrees. And what's the reason for that? The reason for that is simply angle sum of triangle. The angle sum of the triangle gives you that. I can replace this with uh, what? Um, Remember, this is what I'm asked to look for, so I'll just call it X, that's what I'm asked to look for, Q, S, Q, R. So I'll have that 86 plus A plus A will be equal to 180 degrees. So 2A will be equal to 180 minus 86. 2A will now be equal to 100, will now be up to that 94. And A will be equal to 47 degrees. But that's not where it ends. If A is equal to 47, it means that B will be equal to 47 degrees. So, we can use another relationship to test this. We can say that what? A plus X will be equal to 90 degrees. And what you can say for that? Radius is perpendicular to what? Tangent. The radius is what? Perpendicular to the tangent. So, if I already know what A is, it means that 47 plus x will be equal to 90, and x will be 90 minus 1, 47. x will give me 43 degrees. I'm quite fast today, so you may need to watch this video over and over again to be able to figure out what I'm trying to do. All right, so that solves that, and it clears out what we're looking for. Remember, you were not told to look for x. You only said that you only call that angle X. So it means that X will be equal to angle S, Q, R, and that will be 43 degrees. Right? So that clears that problem. So the final question for tonight is seen on page, uh, where is that now? Page, okay, question 32. We'll try to draw that. Uh, it's a circle. And I have this uh, R, I have P, and I have Q. I have P, I have R, and I have Q. So this is going in this direction. This is going in this direction. So I'm going to have S, I'm going to have T, and then this is said to be parallel to this. So I'm going to have something like this, right? And then this will come in this direction, and uh, this will go in this direction, and so I have the shape intact. I'm told that if I'm seeing the diagram right, I'm told that the whole of this is x. The whole of this angle is x. You okay? So in this question, 
We are told that PQ is a tangent to the circle at point R. UT is parallel to what? PQ. And then TROQ. TRQ is X. Find URT. U R T. So this is what I'm told to look for. This one. That's what I'm told to look for. U R T in terms of X. This is a very simple question, I think. Now, by our knowledge of this concept of corresponding angle thing, eh, this question will test your knowledge of alternate segments. This angle here will be equal to uh, all of this angle here. So this one here should be equal to this one here. So let me call here A first. All of this will be equal to this. Now, if I decide to call here Y, it will mean that all of this will be equal to... Uh, okay, very interesting thing we did not even notice here. Now, this is parallel to this, so watch. If this is equal to this by that relationship, it will mean that this angle here, please let's watch. By the concept of parallel lines and whatever must be equal to this, so I'll call here B. So, I'll look at the diagram and say that what? A, using notation as a diagram, using notations as a diagram. Mm -hmm. Using notations as a diagram, we can say that A is equal to X. And the reason is what? Alternate segment. In that same token, I can say that B is equal to X. B is equal to X. What? Uh, alternate angles. What? UT pi to what? PQ. So if I agree with that, I can now, I can say that, uh, because remember that I'm taught to look for U, R, what? T. I can say that, uh, let me call here, uh, let's say C. I can say that C plus A plus B is equal to 180 degrees. And what's the reason for that? Angle sum of triangle. So C, which is what I'm looking for, plus X plus X will be equal to 180 degrees. And C will be equal to what? Or C plus 2X will be equal to 180 degrees. Meaning that C will be equal to 180 minus 2X. So C will be equal to what? 180 minus 2X. And that settles that problem. Alright, so um, you're going to be seeing this video being loaded tonight as a midnight sun experience. It's pre-recorded. And it's about um, it's about five o'clock or thereabout. But this class you're gonna watch at about nine, depending on how we get this editing done quickly. So till I meet with you next time, it is me, Mamu, saying keep the midnight experience cool and nice. Catch you in my next class.